What is the lawsuit filed by Hamilton Reserve Bank? Sri Lanka was sued in the US by a bondholder after the South Asian nation defaulted on its debt for the first time in history while struggling to stop an economic meltdown. Hamilton Reserve Bank Limited, which holds more than 250 million US dollars of Sri Lanka's 5.875% international sovereign bonds due July 25th, filed the suit in a New York federal court seeking full payment of the principal and interest. The Hamilton Reserve Bank owns over 250 million dollars in principal amount of the 1 billion dollar worth international sovereign bonds issued in 2012. The bonds matured on the 25th of July 2022. Hamilton alleged that as a result of Sri Lanka's default, it is owed $250.19 million in principal and $7.349 million in accrued interest. The Hamilton Reserve Bank is in St. Kitts and Nevis and it is a small bank based in a country with 50,000 people. St. Kitts and Nevis is potentially one of the best available tax havens in the world. Why is this lawsuit back in discussion? The Financial Times says that the Hamilton Reserve Bank's stake and the unusual aggressiveness of its lawsuit against Sri Lanka, which began almost as soon as it defaulted in April 2022, always smelled a bit fishy. The U.S. government suddenly and obliquely saying it wanted to get involved made the whole situation even more intriguing. The U.S. will occasionally file amicus briefs laying out its views on contentious legal cases where it has pressing national interests, but it hardly ever gets involved in something as routine like this. Sri Lanka's law firm Clifford Chance for the first time explicitly said who it thinks is driving this is a Chinese-American financer called Benjamin Wei. Wei has a history of legal and regulatory problems. He was arrested for fraud in 2015, but the charges were dropped. The U.S. government's intervention in the lawsuit suggests that it is concerned about Wei's motives and the potential impact of his lawsuit on Sri Lanka. The Financial Times says that according to the presentations made, there is an argument from those who filed the lawsuit that they can block the IMF payments until the money is paid off. It adds that the Hamilton Reserve Bank's $250 million is enough in theory to veto any restructuring proposals Sri Lanka makes.